Today, I'm unlocking every achievement in South Park The Stick of Truth, and with half of the achievements being missable, there's gonna be moments like this. Our number does not match the guide number. Is that a problem? I don't know. We'll find out. But first, we have to start at the beginning. This game has 50 achievements to collect, but before I can earn any of them, I have to spend way too long making the perfect version of the new kid. Dude, I can look like I'm from the 80s, like Starsky and Hutch. Boom. Okay, that's our character. Now that I'm sufficiently stylish, I'm almost ready to explore the neighborhood and make some friends. But I never leave the house without my morning toilet bowl brownout, because you never know when you're going to need that loot. With my partially washed hands, I went looking for some new friends, and I ran into the local paladin, Butters. Using my sewage hands, I absolutely bullied the kid that was picking on him, and made my first friend. This is the first missable achievement I need to bring up. I need to be friends with every person in South Park, and if I miss even a single one, I have to replay the whole game again. I'm gonna have to embrace my inner Canadian, and remember to talk to everyone that's a boot town. Since I saved Butters, he introduces me to the Grand Wizard. No, not that one, this one. As the leader of the resident KKK, no, seriously, not that one. He invites me to join the ranks of his army. But first, I don't forget to be friends with Clyde because the devs liked the idea of putting a missable friend five minutes into the game. As the new member of the team, I needed to pick a name that represents strength, cunning, intellect. So I chose Mangle O'Doul. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Very well, Douchebag. <sighs> I guess that works too. But now that I'm picking my class, I can choose to be a powerful warrior, a wise mage, a rogue thief, or a Jew? Well, for the purposes of an achievement, I need to pick Jew. So on this day, Douchebag the Jew was born, and I was awarded my first achievement. Now that I'm finally part of the clan, God damn it, I meant kingdom, I have to stop doing that. I'm told the story of the Stick of Truth. The wielder of the stick controls the universe, so all the factions are fighting for the stick. And after the elves lay siege to Koopa Keep, we lose the stick. It's God. What? The Stick of Truth. The elves got it. How is that possible? That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the Stick of fucking Truth! And the long journey to get it back begins. But first, I farted all over this cat 25 times for an achievement. All right, I'm gonna about to fart on this cat. How did your ass mm. learn such incredible magic so easily? You know, Butters, I was born with this. Oh, there we go. Animal cruelty. <laughs> you farted on animals 25 times. Nice. With all of South Park awaiting my delicate touch, I worked my way over to the church so I could get the achievement that required me to play as the Jew class. Now, Jesus acts in mysterious ways, so if I want to get his help, I have to beat him in the classic game of Find the Prophet. Jesus, where are you? Oh, is he not over here? Is he in the confessional? Wait, what? Is this him? <laughs> well done, my son. Oh, I did it. I, didn't pick. I found Jesus. Per day with bosses. They're scary. Ooh, achievement Come unlocked. Are we cool? You found Jesus while playing as a Jew. Call me little Moses. Now that I have the big J on my side, it was time to get back the stick of truth. Now, before I can bring the fight to those damn elves, I need to find the three warriors of Koopa Keep. And the first one I'm gonna get is Token. In order to get into Token's compound, I need to get through this Paul Blart looking guy first. And this buddy has no chill. Dude, he just pepper sprayed me. If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the stone age. What in the hell? Okay. I need to get some gear if I plan on getting past that gate, and the only appropriate people to visit are the local hillbillies at Jimbo's Guns. By getting a gas mask here, I can run back and show the security guard who's in charge, and if I do it flawlessly, I'll earn the shutout achievement. Yeah, pepper spray this, buddy. What the fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> he just goes, what the fuck? Here we go. Sling of David. Ow. Right in the nuts. Yeah. Oh my god, he attacks so many times. Okay, we blocked his attack. Now we stun him with jujitsu. Ah! I shaboyga! Mm. Stunned. Say goodbye, Thanos security guard. Ass up, let's go. Okay, we blocked all of his attacks. Achievement? Let's go! Okay, shut out. You successfully blocked every attack in a single non tutorial battle. That's right, buddy. Did this dude just call me Big Nose? Hit him. Break his kneecaps! That's right, run! Get out of here, you're not welcome. Now that I finally have access to Token's compound, I found my fifth of 30 pokey... 
Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. That, that, that won't happen again. I found my fifth of 30 Chin Pokemon, which is the second collectible type in the game. After stealing everything out of this yard, I informed Tolkien that Glide lost the Stick of Truth, and the Grand Wizard needs him to ready for battle. He actually took no convincing at all. So that's one down, two to go. The second warrior I need to recruit is the Jittery Alchemist, Tweak. But since he's helping his parents make, uh, substances, I need to meet up with his dealers and grab his package so he can join the war effort. While doing this, I can get a missable achievement for beating up the meth tweakers while wearing the evil Cartman goatee that I grabbed from Cartman's house and the bald cap that can be found in the police station. Wait a minute, I look kind of familiar. With this new look, I can fight the meth addicts and earn my achievement. Then I can get Tweak to join the anti-elf cause. Giving him a rush. Oh, I wasn't looking. I got bottled by a meth head. Ah, she's gonna give us AIDS. This cop's crazy. Bro, we're not a cop. We're like literally four feet tall, brother. Ah. All right, Operation Overdose into effect. Sick, let's take all their stuff now. And achievement unlocked. Fart on them over here. Heisenberg. You defeated the meth tweakers while wearing the evil Cartman goatee and bald cap. That's good shit. All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. It's 99% purity, Darko, bitch. With two out of three warriors ready, I learned that the third is being kept in the darkest dungeons of the land, elementary school detention. Without Craig, we stand no chance of recovering the stick. So I rallied the troops and we laid siege on the school. By whacking, exploding, and seducing the ginger guards, I was able to make my way to the El Capitan of South Park Elementary, the hallway monitor boss. It's the boss. Oh, he's got like a tetherball flail. Now, since I stole freckles from some disgruntled ginger guard downstairs, wearing them right now will actually get me an achievement when I beat the heck out of this goddamn boss. Oh no. Wait, he died. Oh my god. We actually did that. I thought Kenny was gonna die. Oh, achievement unlocked. Daywalker. Oh, d oh, okay. This is for killing him with freckles. Now that I've rescued all three of the warriors, and because of all the good work I've been putting in, I was promoted within the Koopa Keep army. Ooh. Oh my god. Look at me. Wait, why did... Where's my sick armor? And as a secondary reward for ranking up, I was taught the ability to control my magical bowels and cup a fart my enemies, which I was gonna need since it was time to track down the one who harbors the stick of truth, the bard. With word spreading that the bard was hiding in the giggling donkey, my companions and I started asking around for info that could lead to his capture. This is where we were led into a trap and the bard finally revealed himself. Now he's not much of a talker, but goddamn does he spit some bars. There once was a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy, did she swallow. So I had to fight through the entire house just to reunite with my crew, and the bard's sanctum was locked. I needed to find a way to sneak in. This is when I got the achievement for maxing out one of my abilities. And I also had the opportunity to get an achievement for knocking out three people with a single fart while not in combat. All right, now with the bard cornered, it's time to teach him a lesson. But the problem is, not only does his charm work on the ladies, it also works on me. But this excitement earns me an achievement for crapping my pants mid-fight. Oh, I just crapped myself. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Irritable bowels. You shat your pants during a boss fight. Even with my pants full, I kicked the living tar out of the bard. And then I took back the stick of truth and returned to Koopa Keep. This actually completed my initiation into the KKK. <clears throat> but then we see the next problem. You and your little druid friends need to- We're not druids, mom! I'm a Stop druid. Look oh, at me. That's it. You're going to bed. Bedtime is still an undefeated boss when you're 10. So with that battle lost, I go home to end the first day and earn my achievement. Never mind. We're getting abducted by aliens. Okay, I can't really tell you what happened on this alien ship, but just know that I earned an achievement for farting on 100 people and another achievement for blocking 100 attacks. And I got a sick new probe. After dealing with all the aliens, I had to get back to Earth somehow. So I crashed the spaceship into the mall and got a good night rest. Quest complete. Abduction. Achievement unlocked. First day in South Park. You've completed your first day in South Park. Dope. After that typical Tuesday night, woo, I'm like a scorpion. Cartman comes over to show me that a new Taco Bell is being built on the remains of the South Park Mall. And the elves stole the stick of truth, which according to Cartman, And it's bullshit because that is totally cheating. 
We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars, and we have to lay waste to their entire base. Since I need to whoop the elves back to Lothlorien, Cartman says I should go and recruit the goth kids because apparently our army can't keep the goddamn stick safe. Before I went to speak to the goth kids, I went around South Park to complete some other miscellaneous achievements. The first one I did is Made This For You, where I need to throw that turd that I pulled out of the toilet at the start of the game at an enemy. There's a goddamn family down here. Okay, what am I gonna do? I know I've got a nugget down here somewhere. Here we go. I'm gonna throw it at this mutant rat. Eat my crap. I got it! <laughs> Made this for you, baby. You flung a turd of your own creation at an enemy. Enjoy that one, brother. The next achievement is called Pulling Mud. And to do this, I have to crap my pants in three different fights. I'm already at one out of three, so when I got into a battle with the She-Ogre Shelly, I got my second addition to the craptage. And then the third and final happened when I fought, uh, let's just focus on the crapping of the pants. Crap my pants. And then I should get an achievement for crapping my pants three times. Let's see. Uh, push. Push. Let it out, brother. Let it out. Oh, no, I didn't. Achievement unlocked. Pulling mud. In three separate battles, you've taken a bleep in your pants. Goddamn right I am, and I'm not embarrassed about it. IBS is real, people. IBS is real. Now it's time to go talk to the goth kids, and on my way there, I actually opened every garage in South Park for the achievement archaeologist. When I get to the goth kids, I tell them that I need help battling the elves, and they call me a douchebag conformist for playing this fantasy game. And in order to prove to them that I'm not a conformist, I have to buy clothes and accessories to look just like them? Wait a minute, what the fuck? So after I grabbed my goth outfit, I was told that I had to prove I can dance goth. And after learning how the buttons work, I absolutely begged some goth baddies for the Koopa Keep army. I'm a goth. Look at me go drink coffee goth. I smoke that cigar goth goth. Here I am as goth. What do you think? He's pretty goth. He's pretty goth, right? Oh, I'm yeah. so goth, dude. All of that hurt my soul. Yeah, a deep loathing. We'll a there. depression so deep that not even the pit of Hades could contain it. Ferkel, she's been unlocked. The nonconformist? We've made friends with the goths. Look at us. Let's go sit next to them. With the goths on my side, I've now made friends with half of South Park. And if you also want to be my friend, you should subscribe and leave me a comment saying how many friends you have. I bet I have more. Now that I have the goth artillery squad, I lead the charge against the elves, who have taken refuge in the school. As I'm trying to break their defenses, I get the opportunity to earn an achievement, Ginger Vitus, which states I have to get bitten by a ginger three times. Thankfully, after that spaceship crashed, a bunch of people got turned into Nazi zombies, including the gingers. And after baiting them to get a bite of this thick pie, I got the achievement. I need to be bit one more time. Oh, wait a minute. Gingivitis. Oh, it must have counted on Jimmy. First, they don't have souls. Now they give you gingivitis. Man, gingers have it rough, dude. When I finally make it to the top of the school, I have to pick if I want to side with Kyle or Cartman. But since there's an achievement for both, um, I'm just going to beat the crap out of one and then reload and beat up the other. So I'm going to beat Kyle first, reload, and then beat Cartman. Pretty sure Kyle's Jewish. Oh, he's immune to jujitsu. Faster, faster, faster. Oh my God. God damn. Achievement unlocked. KKK hero. I'm gonna reload right now. And we're gonna do the actual fight. Oh, you motherfucker. I knew you were a fucking douchebag. Oh my God, bro. Cartman's me. And a magic sword. Boom. Spam A, spam A. Why was that so much easier? He just got absolutely melted with my farts. Achievement unlocked. Elven hero. Okay, that's both parts of the storyline. When I finally choose a side, I learned that that thieving bastard Clyde is the one who was behind the missing stick the whole time. And when we show up to tell him that he's a fucking cheater who stole the stick at nighttime, it turns out it's bedtime, and we have to pause the game to go home and go to bed. Honestly, after the hectic day, I was ready to just lay down and enjoy a good night rest, because Lord knows what tomorrow is going to bring. What is this? It's like little garden gnomes. What? Why am I just standing here waiting for it? 
Oh, I'm small. So my nightmares of being turned into a small boy that looks like the Wendy's girl by underwear stealing gnomes has turned into a reality. And no, I don't need help. My fears are my fears. Thankfully, my nightmare also involves me being the dragon assborn, and I get an achievement for Fusro dying, five channeled attacks. Oh. Rebuttal. Okay, I just had to had to drop a couple of extra farts. Now I have to chase that little shaman gnome through the wall so that I can be turned back into a regular elf boy. But he escapes into my parents' room, who are in the process of uh wrestling one another whoa this is crazy dude do i just sit here huh what it would be like to be a fly on the wall oh he stopped and he smacked it good god dude i don't know when this achievement's gonna pop dude but <laughs> new message from bill hey what are you doing I'm watching my parents bone whoa Yo, they change in positions and we got the achievement, but like mom fucking throws it back, dude. This insane night ends with the gnome telling us that the green Nazi zombie goo is destroying the world. And before he can say any more, something happens that I cannot show, but this was my reaction. Bro, I just got killed by a Woody. Oh my God. All right, at this point, surely things can't get any weirder because after all that family um, bonding from last night, my dad is finally down to be friends with me so I can earn an achievement. Since the world is on the brink of destruction, the humans and elves have decided to put their differences aside. Thorns forces my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you suck my elven dick butters? Okay, maybe this truce is more like a temporary ceasefire. But regardless, the threat requires for us to unite all forces under a single banner, including the girls. The girls? The, the girls? girls? I can go get the girls. Before I went to see the girls, it made sense that I would get a few fart-related achievements first, because I don't want to gross them out when I get over there. Okay, so we're going to go for an achievement here to fart on a dog while in gnome form. So we gotta be small and try to catch a dog and fart on it. Is this the dog bed? Okay, this is the dog bed. Ah! Never mind, we went into combat. Shit. Oh, he's humping him! What is this? Whoa! He insta-killed him! So what if I go small now? Can I fart on the dog? Oh, it, it worked! Dog whistle. We're also, I think there, so we can get an achievement here. We now have all of the buddies. The only buddy we haven't farted on, I believe, is Kyle. Is he behind the counter? Kyle! You better check your pants. Yeah, buddy. Get him out of here. That's right. Just saying hi. It's the Canadian handshake, buddy. My name is Morgan. I'm from Canada and I live in a basement. Nice to meet you. With those achievements done, I made my way to the Council of Girls and listened to everything that they say to me. Every single word. Especially the important ones. Okay, so that was eventful. The girls need our help to see if one of their own is sabotaging the group. So we're given a makeover and sent into, well, you know. While I'm in here, I'm supposed to grab some confidential documents that will prove if one of the girls is a damn liar. But with a zombie plague spreading, you can probably imagine what happens in this facility. So I'll just say I got an achievement that required farting on an entity after I surgeried it. Shiza! 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 Uh... Too far. You farted on the corpse of an aborted Nazi zombie fetus. Okay, I didn't know that was an achievement, actually. I've just been farting on things because I find it funny. So here's the problem now. The documents that I grab from the facility are in French, which means I need someone who can translate French to English. And I think I know a guy. Enough of the suspense, it's me. I'm the guy and I'm in Canada. So the girls send me to Canada to find me so I can translate the note for them. So while I was up here in Canada, I handled some politics. I set up some achievements for farting on authority figures and I contracted dire aids, which is needed for the end of the game. With the note translated for the girls, I returned stateside to get a few achievements and prepare for the final battle. The first achievement I wrapped up was for farting on all the authority figures. All right, Mayor, I've been holding this one for you, yeah? I want you to open your mouth when I throw this at you. That's no way to get popular. <laughs> That's exactly how I'm going to get popular. Now give me that achievement. Didn't work. Oh, there it is. Truth to power. 
Fed the mayor that delicious gas. Achievement unlocked. Next, I needed to get some cosmetic surgery done for the face Hoff achievement that will come up at the end of the game. So I need to get my nose done here to look like the Hasselhoff. Makes you look like the Hoff, but you won't be able to swim or sing like the Hoff. And I'm about to get a new nose, which I, well, I don't even have a nose right now, but I'm about to get a nose, which will be new to me. Tom, oh, achievement unlocked. What done. is this for? Make it rain? Oh, you've spent $500. A little bit of cosmetic surgery to top up the bank account. And it sounds like this guy literally just did something to not my nose. Whoa! With all of the ending achievements set up, I was finally ready to bring the fight to Clyde and take back the Stick of Truth for good. While my army was fighting the troops of darkness, I climbed to the top of the tower and I learned from Randy that Taco Bell has put a thermonuclear bomb up Mr. Slaves. And since I'm the only one who can get small enough to get it, I tried to run but that wasn't an option. Okay, so having to go inside Mr. Slave to disarm the bomb sounds like the second worst way to spend a Saturday, but I'll do it because I need to get the achievement for using the Mr. Slave summon well inside of Mr. Slave. This is my favorite paradox of all time, and unfortunately, I cannot show you the details. With the nuke disarmed, it was time to confront Clyde, and after I cooked his minion, my army stole back the stick, and we booted him from the Xbox party. This is when the government swoops in to give backstory that honestly doesn't make any sense. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? But I did learn two things. One, I'm the best around, and two, it must be really chilly outside. I get betrayed by Princess Kenny at this point. He takes the stick, and we have to battle him for the fate of South Park. This is where all the achievement prep comes in. I'll get an achievement for defeating Kenny with the Hasselhoff face, defeating him in my girl's clothes, and then defeating him with dire aids. And I'll also get the achievement for beating the game without selling any items, and one for never having a buddy get knocked out in a fight. And then the final achievement will be for beating the game. This fight is also very chilly, so I have to jump to the end, where I fart on Princess Kenny's balls and earn all six of these achievements. Oh my god. One hit KO. I farted on his balls and he literally turned to fairy dust. And the final achievement, Stick Savior. Defeat Princess Kenny and recovered the Stick of Truth. First A to speak. Now it's time to start cleanup and hope we didn't miss a collectible. With the world saved, it was time to clean up the remaining achievements. And the first thing I did was collect the remaining Chin Pokemon, since getting all of them will also get me a friend that's required for the 120 friends achievement. Is that 30? Chin Pokemon! 30 out of 30? Where's my achievement? Oh, there we go. I got a little worried. Then Chin Pokocalypse? Chin Pokalypse? Not bad. Another game long achievement that I had technically been working on was Junk Peddler, where I have to sell 300 items. Since I didn't sell any during the game, it was time to offload the rest like I was a mobile pawn shop. So now I need to sell all of the junk and I'm just gonna spam Y. Selling everything. Getting rich, baby. Oh my God, I'm hitting, hitting as fast as I can. I need a goddamn modded controller from the 360 days. Ah, my forearm, 300, please. Was that 300? Oh no, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, junk peddler. But at this point, there were still two achievements that I had to worry about. Collecting all the friends and collecting all the equipment. There are multiple ways to miss something that is required for one of these achievements. And if I messed up anywhere, I'll have to play the whole game again and possibly get every single collectible in the game for a second time. I'll start with the 120 friends. The last group I needed to talk to were the murderous wildlife that prey Satan. I told them that we could all rot in hell together if they would just add me on Facebook and that seemed to work. So hopefully these are the last friends I need. Okay, we accept the true Lord. Praise be to Satan, your new dread master. Now we can all be friends on Facebook. Yay! Yay, we're all friends. Oh, that's a ton of friends. Wait, is that all the friends? Is that all of the friends? It hasn't updated. What? Oh, thank God. Dude, I was so worried that I was gonna have to replay the game to get that. It doesn't tell you if you have to accept friend requests or just get a friend request in order for it to count. And now I've confirmed, and for anyone who plans on doing this, just get Clyde's friend request. You 
don't have to come into your menu and accept it. Oh my goodness, dude. The final achievements are for acquiring all the costumes and weapons in the game. And the only place I hadn't bought equipment from was my home country of Canada. So I traveled there to see if the last pieces were available. Okay, we're up here in my home of Canada and I'm about to get my final equipment by swindling this shop owner. This will be the last of the equipment that I need to get my achievement. Equipment first. And then weapons. And that should be everything. Okay, give it a second here. Achievement unlocked. Full arsenal. Own all the weapons and costumes available in the game. And achievement unlocked. Clothes whore. We came up here to Canada and finished her out. I'm feeling good about this one, bud. And we're ready to move on to the next game. The collectibles are ass. If you enjoyed that video, then click on the screen here to see the last time I earned every achievement in a game. This one was crazy. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, perhaps I can change what has happened.